Yo, it's your boy the Android Doctor back again with another video. So I'm here with the S23 Ultra, and this time I'll be showing you how to connect the phone to Samsung Dex wirelessly on your wireless TV. Okay, so you might be wondering what's the difference between Samsung Dex and the regular screen mirroring on your TV. So first of all, I would say the interface. Um, you need to remember Dex is a desktop experience and it doesn't just put your phone screen on a larger display. You can view multiple applications. You can resize windows, access keyboard shortcuts, and you can actually use the phone as a mouse. So yeah, I'm going to take you through the steps. So just follow what I'm about to do if you want to set this up on your TV. So let me just get my remote. So like I mentioned, I have the Hitachi 4K TV. So this will work on any other wireless TV. So just press the home button. That's the first thing you need to do. And you need to look on your TV for this option here, sources, and then use the arrow on the remote to go to sources, and then go across to where it says wireless, display, and then hit OK. And then just wait for the screen to say this. Wireless display ready for connection. To get started, launch wireless display on your computer or smartphone. Now on your S23 Ultra, just pull down the notifications and look for DEX. So swipe across and you should see DEX right here. Just press on it and then it's gonna detect your TV. So as you can see, my TV is now showing up. There's also another TV here showing up. That must be my next door neighbor's TV. Okay, and here it just explains, get a PC style desktop experience on your TV while you keep using your phone or turn your phone into a trackpad for added convenience. For TVs and monitors that can't connect wirelessly, you can run DEX with a cable. So you can also do this with a HDMI cable if you don't have a wireless TV. And if you're using wireless, the phone and the TV need to be connected to the same Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so I'm just going to choose my TV, Hitachi. So Samsung Dex will have access to the info on your screen or played from your phone while casting or recording. This can include password, payment details, pictures, messages and more. Go ahead and start now. Okay, Samsung Dex. And there it is. We're connected guys. There's a message down here. The connected TV isn't optimized for wireless decks. Connecting with a HDMI cable may work better. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn on the mouse. Okay, so as you can see, the phone has now turned into a trackpad, basically a mouse, and we've got the cursor there. If you look on the TV, and we can just move it around. So let me just get rid of this message, and then tap on it. Okay, so here we've got some applications. So, the Play Store. And then to scroll down 
on the play store, I'd have to use two fingers. So you've got to use two fingers and swipe up like that. And then swipe down to go back up. And also go into full screen mode. I'm going to the gallery and view all my pictures on my phone. And I must say, guys, it works very well. Okay, so down here, we have the search bar, the recent apps. Some people like to call it the multitasking button, the home button, and also the back button. And then to the right over here, we have screenshot. So you can snap a screenshot. Let me show you all that real quick. So I've just taken a screenshot. Then we have a volume. Here you can read your messages. And then we have a Wi-Fi and the network signals and the battery and the date and time. Got some Google Apps there. So you can watch YouTube, you can go on Maps, you can use Google Meet, YouTube Music, Chrome, access to Google Drive there as well. And we've got the Samsung Internet Browser. So I'm just in the settings there, guys. Okay, so let's check out the apps. So these are all the applications on my phone. And remember with Dex as well, a lot of people don't know this, you can use the same resolution as the TV with Dex. So now you can um, you can connect your PlayStation controller. If you have a PS4 controller or a PS5 controller, you can connect it and you can actually play your games and stuff. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a second just to show you it all working, okay? Back in a second, guys. Okay, guys, so I'm back again. I've got my PS4 controller hooked up. I just want to show you this as well. Down here, there's an option to lock decks. And when you want to come out of decks, there's an option to exit as well. Okay, so let me just fire up. Call of Duty real quick. Hope there's not an update or anything. Okay, so let me just choose PS4 controller. So I've got to use the mouse to select, okay. So 
come on. Oh, I've accidentally closed the game down, guys. Hold on. Let me just start it again. Okay, guys. So, back again. So, I'm just going to put the game into full screen mode. And then start a match. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you how to um, exit out of DEX. So to exit, just press the little X there. You have to double tap on it. And then as you can see, I've now come out of DEX. So yeah. That's it for the video guys, be sure to give it a thumbs up, also share the video, um, stay tuned, more videos on the way, it's your boy the Android Doctor and I'm out, see you in the next one. Oops, guys, I forgot that the game was actually still running on the TV, even though I pressed to exit on the phone, so um, what you have to do to actually exit and close it down on the TV as well. You have to pull down the notifications and select on where it says Samsung DeX is running and then just select exit. As you can see now, we've exited properly. Sorry about that guys. Anyway, once again, thanks for watching. Remember to like and share the video, I'm out, deuces.